Well, it's me, I'm back. Oh, I'm going to shut the door. Uh, not that I've got it loud, because I haven't. Right, bridge of size. Right, the cord. Um, seems to me as well that a lot of these little, little, you know, all these, you know, all this sort of little embellishments that, that he puts on it. Um, they, they're very random. I don't, I don't think there's any set, set system to the way he plays it. It's just, it's pretty much jammed other than the, the uh, thing, other than the actual riff. Um, another thing with Trower is that you've always got to remember that he's a great one for down bends. He bends. He, he does a lot of the down bends. He's, uh, he does up bends as well, but... Um, also these, and there's an awful lot of vibrato going on, and he must have really strong fingers because some of his flicks and that, very, very accurate. He's a very soulful player, I think, Trower. I like his, I like his guitar playing, I think he's, I think he's very, very, very underrated. Anyway. Right, so the first bit is that trill. On two, on the D string. And, um, you can't really slow it down, that's what it is, if you can't do that. It's not difficult, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Right, so the first one's a trill, just practice it if you can't get that. And then, so that's just the, this is just how I play it, I'm not saying it's totally accurate, but I just, just hit, hit the open E string. So it's, um, so it's, that's on the A string one and two. And then you've got to put your, that finger, if I play it one finger, you've got to put your finger onto that. Leave that G string open. So you've got a two on the D, the G string's open, and then that chord is just three on, on the bottom two strings. But the chord, I think that's right, is that. And then you will go sort of. I'm really slowing this down. Bottom two strings. So it's um, sort of hammering on. And then you've got to go to like the A position, but only on the B and the G string. And bend it down. And sort of try and feel. Obviously, he's a very feely sort of guitar player. And then repeat the process. Now, you can play the bottom two strings open. But I prefer to play it there. So it's the same notes, but just played on the B and the G string. And you can slide into it as well. So that's four and five on the G and the B string. And just play those two, str two strings. For the repeat. Now that is a slide vibrato. Can't stress enough. I'm always going on about vibrato. I love to vibrato. So that's uh, what? That's nine. 
9 on the D string, 7 on the G string, hang on, that's not that. So it's, and you go down to the B string on the 8. So you're playing those three notes at the end. Right. The other filling he uses before he goes at the end is something along these lines. I'm not sure it's saying it's right. So, so it's very similar to the last filling. So you go up to the nine on the. D no, it's. Hang on. I've forgotten how to play it. If I don't play it in, in a sequence, I don't know what. To, I really don't know. I should have worked this out. But that's it. So you slide up to nine, same as you did for the first one. So that's the seven and the nine on the G. Hammer on. Six. Little bend on the five on the D string. Right, the next bit, like the chorusy bit, is it's a C chord, part of a C chord, that shape. on the E string, the G, open on the A, so you're playing those notes, but what you've got to do, you've got to form that chord, so you play it like this, so you've got to get, your, you've got to get that chord ready. Two on the A, one on the D, two on the G, I'm rubbish on getting the strings, and the E string is two. And go back to the C again. Sometimes, there's another way of playing this, you can go ten to this A instead of that A. It's just basically that chord, which is that. There's so many of these different fillings. It could be, it could be any one of a number. How much longer I've got left? I've only got a little while left. Right, hopefully that's it. That's all you need to know. Well, apart from that bit. 